What it do, E World? Crisscrossing wires and this official. I fully committed 100% to crossing over to fully electric motorcycle status. So this is my RZ and I debadged it. I think that totally took the little toyish look away. For sure, for sure. Which is what I wanted. Uh, my pedaling days uh, are over. You know, I had pedals on the beast. Because I was trying to skirt under the laws. But, uh, damn that. We fall out 100% e-motorcycle now. So, uh, we debadging this thing. So, I removed uh, everything on this side. Still have the other side to do. Even went back to uh, all black grips. Removed the pro tapers as I have on that side. Because uh, this side, we still got the... Uh, we still got the stickers on. And man, I should have done this a long time ago. For sure. But uh, yeah. I'm definitely liking that. What it do, E World crisscross and wires. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear me, cause it's raining cats and dogs. And uh, inside my little tent gazebo shop, <laughs> it's loud as hell. So I was gonna do a live stream, but I think it's gonna be too loud. But anyway, uh, we just finished wiring up our, our, our new mirrors. They got the lights on it. And uh, I think we're going to have to uh, go with a different color underglow. I knew I should have got the underglow that you could change different colors instead of the red. Because now the red ain't going to be working no more since uh, I don't know if everybody knows. But I debadged uh, my RZ. It's kind of hard to tell right now because uh, yeah, you can't see much of it. But I'll post a picture. Uh, I got a cover on it. Like I said, it's raining cats and dogs out there right now. But uh, anyway, I was going to uh, put some new phase wires on my motor. But I decided that uh, I would, well, actually, I was going to, uh, I was going to cut off these uh phase wires that had the dual phase wires on it and i was going to cut them off of this motor or take them disconnect them from this motor and then i thought about it man uh there's no need in me ruining this perfectly good 205 and that's what that is a perfectly good 205 a five kilowatt uh no need in me because i would have to put all that back so I'm not going to do that. I ordered uh, some new wire, uh, some really good uh, copper, high performance car audio wire that I'm going to use uh, like I used on the beef. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this uh, 205 back together, man. And uh, if somebody wants a really good uh, high quality MB power, 205 this is the top of the line version with the aluminum uh and the 50h magnets not the cheap model the good model uh hit me up uh obviously you'll have to relate you know lace it up or uh you can do as i always say if you already got a 205 that's burnt up or you got a, a 205 that's a 3000 watt motor that's already in the rim all you got to do is uh, take the screws out like this, pull that entire stator out, and stick that into your casing that's already laced up in the rim. 
you know, if you already got that exact same 205 casing already, you got it, you want to upgrade. So that's the easiest way to do that. But uh, anyway, in the meantime, I said I'm going to go ahead and crack this, uh, this other motor open. I'm going to show y'all how to do that. Uh, the uh, rough and ready uh, way to do it. You know, a lot of people use either a gear puller or a hydraulic press to open them up. Uh, I used to just take the screws out and bang them on the ground. <laughs> and that works. But you end up, uh, sometimes you can mess up the threads. So you don't want to do that. But yeah, I used to uh, take the screws out, put them on the concrete. And uh, you got to bang them on the ground kind of hard to pop those uh, dust covers off. Uh, and like I said, yes, you can damage the threads or you can put something on the threads. Uh, the way I do it now, I use this little piece right here, this little tube. And uh, hopefully I don't embarrass myself. This works as it always does. But uh, I got this, uh, this maul right here, pretty five pound maul. So what I do, Let's see. We'll try this side right here. I'll go ahead and put that on there. All the screws have been removed already. And what you want to do, you're going to have to whack it. You might have to hold that. And uh, as you can see, that starts... Uh, sliding this cover off on the opposite side so i'm pretty sure the neighbors ain't too happy right now but it is what it is but uh yep yeah, it's coming and so is this side you can see see it separating right there so uh i'm gonna try to pry it off so i don't have to keep banging on it uh, let's see But uh, it's always easy to keep banging on it it's easier to come off but Try not to do too much banging All right, there we go Now as you can see these uh, stock motors they aren't too uh, they're not the greatest, you know. Not the greatest quality motors, but the motor is a motor. Uh, I'm pretty sure 35, you can see it in there. These are the 35H magnets. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's see. Let's see how I push that out. So, that is the easiest way to uh, open a motor. And, uh, it's only because I've opened up a lot of them. I know the easiest way to do it. So what I was saying about that other motor, you, uh, you can take a stator out and uh, put it in a rim already. Now, uh, look at that. These magnets, they don't even cover the entire uh, width. So this is a really little small motor. You can see how, uh, you can see how thin the stator is. See the width of that? Let's see. Yeah. 
Now, let's go back. I'm just going to show you. On this other 205 up here. And this, see, this is a 3000 watt 205. Look at the difference in how wide that stator is. And uh, this stator right here, even though it's not popped out, that stator is a 50H, 50H wide, 50 millimeter wide stator compared to this little skinny stator all right see that so i don't even know if i'd uh it ain't even worth upgrading uh the phase wise on that little motor to be honest um the motor that's on my bike is uh 40 millimeter so if i'm going to do you know the phase wire upgrade i'm definitely going to uh do it on that other motor for sure anyway just uh just show you guys how to open the motor i actually like these dust covers better so uh i may switch dust covers but i damn sure ain't switching motors And I mean, look at that. The, the permanent magnets don't even cover the whole rim, man. That's really, that's really cheesy right there, man. This is definitely a 2,000 watt. This is a 2,000 watt motor. That's a 3,000 watt motor that's on my bike. The motor that I ordered is a 12,000 watt motor. Uh... 60H but uh, yeah I'm sure uh, my new motor whenever it comes is going to those permanent magnets are going to be like double that oh boy yeah that wasn't even worth uh, that wasn't even worth opening up but at least I showed you guys how to uh how to do that a good way in doing it because i know a lot of people have a hard time opening these uh motors up uh let's see what else can we oh real quick i'm gonna put it out there again because somebody uh somebody claims they want this pack but uh i told them that i am selling this 72 volt 50 amp hour prismatic pack this is a pack that i was using uh on that bike when i first got it when i first brought it home uh and this is a pack that was in the cyber x it only has about 20 cycles on it 24 charge cycles that's it it's a brand new battery man you can look how nice and i mean you can tell that ain't no cheap chinese pack uh, over there is uh, I started working on an add-on pack for that. I never finished it <laughs> Been sitting there uh, But yeah, I make all my packs the same way uh, the uh, Copper nickel sandwich and nickel nick nickel copper sandwich technique. That's how I make all my packs but uh, yeah like i said i that, that was an add-on pack i never finished i actually what i ended up doing uh when i started making that i was running this and i was going to add that to this just for a little more amp hour and a little more amps then i remembered that i had uh the beast original pack the first pack i made with the lachin cells 
If you're not familiar with those, uh, the Lachin 21700 LAs are right on par with Miles LP42s. They just slightly, just slightly different. I mean, a, a slightly less powerful and uh, they're less uh, milliamps. Uh, the P42s are 4200 milliamps. The uh, Lachin 21700 LAs are 4000 milliamps. So 200 milliamp difference. They are 45 amp cells and uh, they will supposedly throttle back to 35 amps if they're extremely hot, they're temperature uh, regulated. But uh, you don't want to run any cells uh, severely hot. So that's why I didn't make a difference uh, at the time. That was the first pack I made. And uh, I got those cells for a really good deal on Black Friday. But regardless, uh, like I said, I forgot I still had that pack. That is a 20S12P. And uh, that's what's in there now. So, that's why I didn't finish that. But, uh, I'm, I am going to go ahead and finish that. Because that's a 6P, 20S6P. And I'm going to add it to that. So, uh, it will be a, I will have 20S18P. Uh, until I make the pack for this bike. You know, I'm going to make a, uh, most likely a 30s pack anywhere from a 26s to a 30s pack but i'm going to make that pack with p45b uh the newer cells so that's the plan for that but uh in the meantime while we got the bac 8000 in there i will finish that and throw that in there and uh We'll do a range test with a 20S uh, 18P. Uh, let's see, anything else we can talk about? Uh, no, that's it. So, like I said, somebody's supposed to be getting this pack. Uh, they offered to pay payments on it. Look, man, I understand that, we, you know, uh, times is difficult for everybody. Everybody just can't put out uh, a ton of money at one time so I try to work with people the best I can alright y'all that's it uh, tomorrow uh, I'll have uh, the power wire should be here tomorrow should be and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those phase wires uh, actually, what I, my intentions, what I'm actually going to do with that, I ordered uh, four gauge. Now, I'm going to run four gauge from my controller all the way back as close as I can get it to the motor. And that four gauge is going to go to this distribution block. Uh, I'm going to find the other screws to this, but this is a three three-way distribution block which is perfect for phase wires you got three phase wires like i said i'm gonna run four gauge all the way back as close as i can get it then mount this and then i'll have about six six inches of uh eight eight gauge going into the motor now that's not as good as uh you know, if I was running six gauge all the way directly to the motor, that's what I would want. But as I told you, uh, six gauge is not gonna fit, not gonna fit through those axle cutouts. So, uh, eight gauge will, and uh, like I said, we'll have eight gauge, about six inches worth. Uh, it will come out of the motor. It will go to this distribution block. And then I have four gauge going from there to my control. Now that will be just as good, uh, but not 100%. 
um, the longer your wires are the more resistance so to have eight gauge coming from the motor all the way to my controller uh, isn't as good as just having six inches worth of eight gauge and then switching over to four gauge you know so the longer uh, the wire the more resistance and uh, you know that's that's the best I can that's the best I can do with that until uh, whenever my motor comes so you know we can do the best we can with what we got all right y'all deuces i'm out peace